Last Friday, we shared the voices of those in the industry about the potential impact that could bring. And I think over the next 10 years, we'll see a, a massive inflow of these vehicles. If you're going to stay in this industry, I think you need to. And um, because I think it's going to make a change. In reporting about electric vehicles role in union talks, our Rachel Henderson found another story. So this one focuses on a local company's goal to expand EVs beyond just consumer cars. Leading the way in an industry doesn't just happen overnight. Yeah, we were very small. A lot of people said, are they going to make it, right? Are they real? Yes, very real. Orange EV started in 2012 as the first to offer 100% electric yard trucks. The company's grown and has delivered almost 900 EV commercial trucks. Orange EV now has more than 300 workers. We're growing at an amazing rate. At the same time, I, can, I, I have to be honest, I thought we were going to be much faster than this, right? Orange EV's co-founder and chief technology officer says the main driver of EV consumerism is understanding. Like if they had full knowledge, they would take their diesels and just park them. But freight trucks like theirs aren't usually the first thing that comes to mind when someone says electric vehicles. Personal cars, I mean, Tesla went out there and showed everybody it was real. And now I was like, well, wait, wait a second, we can do that too. According to the International Energy Agency, 4% of 2020 vehicle sales were EVs. Last year, that number was 14%. If any new technology goes through a, an acceptance curve, right? But a lot of people are still adjusting. And so you've got lots of people telling you different things, right? The people who are still selling diesels want to sell more diesels. EVs have also raised concerns about job security for auto workers, something Nightkin says could actually improve. We're teaching people new skills, but there's a lot of carryover skills too. So if someone's a good mechanic, they'll do well on this line. Filling an industry void takes time, but it also leaves a large window of opportunity. This is a smaller niche market. We hope to expand significantly. Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.